Now at times uh, working with FPM, uh, we know that the Android real devices, they work really fast when we are testing any uh, native or a hybrid app or even a web application, right? So uh, real devices are always fast. And we also don't uh, prefer working on uh, Android virtual devices on Windows because they are very, very slow. Uh, the by default devices that uh, comes with uh, uh, Android SDK, uh, Android Studio itself that we uh, have downloaded initially. If you create an Android virtual devices from there, they are very, very slow on Windows, right? Now in this example, I'll be showing you uh, one of uh, the Android virtual device that uh, I have installed on my machine that comes with Jenny Motion right uh jenny motion uh, if i show it to you uh, the device looks something like this and it, you you're going to see it's very uh, fast to boot the device as compared uh, to what we get uh, with android studio so let's say i have created this device over here creating a device is very simple click on add you'll see all uh, the available virtual device you can select any device and click on next it will going to create that device now just you need to click on start and you're gonna see that within a couple of seconds your device will be up for uh, testing and you can install uh, applications on that device you can even test uh, test the native uh, application of that device uh, as in you can open up dialer you can open up message messaging you can open up camera app right so a couple of these things we can easily uh, do with this uh, jenny motion virtual device and uh, the execution itself is very fast see uh, the device is opening uh, and you can see it will not gonna take uh, much time to boot within few seconds see the device is booted right if you want to play around uh, just click on this this is all the menu and if i scroll over here this is gallery just click and i'll show you that i've installed the sample application over here this is a cell android test application right if i show you the dialer uh, this is the dialer this is like our android device itself right you can make calls but uh, the call will not go anywhere because this is just a virtual device you can try playing with numbers, try clicking on this. So all these things you can automate it uh, using your Appium uh, scripts itself. So I'm going to show you how I'll, I'll be executing couple of uh, scripts that I've created on this. Uh, like uh, I'll be executing them on this virtual device itself. So what I'll do, uh, let me check if the Appium server is running. Yes, it's running. So uh, this is one of the script that will going to make a call to the dialer so it's a uh, native application and uh, let me bring up the device you're gonna see the execution is also very fast see and it's actually dialing the number see the execution is similar to what we do uh, on a real device so if you don't have android real device you can choose this jenny motion uh, that comes with uh, the free uh, license for personal use, right? And so it's making a call, right? So this was the very first test. And I'll, I'll show you the second test where I am actually the uh, testing the application that I have deployed. That is one of the cell Android test application. So what I'll gonna do, I'll just uh, restart my server because I've not mentioned driver.quit. So it's, it's uh, good that you should uh, give driver dot quit at the end so that there is no need of restarting the server. So what I'll do, I'll run this and I'll bring back the virtual device over here. See, it has an Android test app opened up, and now it will gonna type something over here that is Hello Jenny Motion, right? So this is how uh, this is how how this Jenny Motion. Uh, you can work it. Uh, I've misspelled it. It is basically Jenny motion, right? All right. So uh, in the next lecture, we're gonna see uh, how we can install Jenny motion. There are a couple of challenges that comes uh, while installing this Jenny motion. So I'll be talking about those challenges, and we'll see how successfully we can install Jenny motion on our machine. All right.